Do you find yourself having boring dreams? Dreams where just nothing seems to happen? Now, I know this is kind of an annoying topic to talk about because, um, yeah, I guess a lot of people have boring dreams where they just don't do anything interesting. Nothing interesting happens to them. And this was inspired by, uh, I was talking to my girlfriend recently, and she said basically she never has exciting dreams. They're always something boring, like she's in school or she's, you know, walking down the street or talking to a friend or something like that. There's nothing epic going on. There's no battles between different, like, dragon factions. There's no exploring alien planets. There's none of that. Um, whereas I, for example, have many dreams like that, really exciting, unusual and unique experiences. You know, like exploring different planets, phasing between dimensions, talking to aliens and uh, becoming animals, be living underwater. Like all of these crazy experiences that I have in my lucid dreams and normal dreams. And so I thought I'd make this video to explain how you can have more interesting dreams if you've been having boring ass dreams for too long and you just want to have something more interesting. So before we get into this, make sure to subscribe because I do post weekly lucid dreaming videos and uh, sleep hacks and that sort of thing. Also, just search how to lucid or howtolucid.com on any social media network. I am pretty much everywhere, even TikTok, and I even have a podcast. So with that being said, back to the video. So how can you have more interesting dreams? Well, there's three things that I want to mention here, and I am kind of winging this, but they are three important things. So number one, make sure you get the basics in order, meditate, reality checks, dream journaling, uh, make sure you can actually lucid dream, uh, ideally. That's the basics. Number two, it's all about what you're consuming. What content are you consuming in your life? Now, this means not only what films are you watching, but also what social media content, what articles are you reading, what books are you reading, and what places are you going to? Okay, but it's mainly about those first four. Okay, not, not the places you go to as much. It's mainly about the, the first four. In particular, the types of media you're consuming. What books are you reading? What films are you watching? If you're constantly watching chick flicks, reality TV shows, news channels, that's what you're going to dream about. Or at least that's the type of dream you're going to have. Your dreams are going to be boring AF because you're just constantly consuming this content that is not going to inspire your dreams. Nothing happens in these, in these content pieces. Nothing happens. There's no exciting battle royale there's no like adventure there's no alien planets it's just a guy meeting a girl they fall in love what if it's a chick flick for example or if it's a reality tv show it's just people it's just drama and gossip nothing exciting happens to stimulate your brain to create an interesting dream because your your brain is basically uh it's basically it's basically going to go out there and just copy what you've been experiencing and what you've been thinking about and just turn that into your dream. So if you watch a lot of fantasy films, like I do, if you watch a lot of sci-fi, a lot of, you know, interesting action-packed films, superhero movies, you're gonna dream about those things. And especially if you think about them a lot, which is what I advise you to do in my Lucid Superpowers Guide, which you can find in the description or whatever. Um, I advise you to actually immerse yourself in the superpower you want to learn. If you wanna learn how to fly in a lucid dream, Stop watching chick flicks, start watching things like X-Men, start watching things like Superman, Man of Steel, and uh, those sorts of films, because they're gonna inspire you to actually do that thing and have a dream about that, that thing, that topic. This is the biggest reason why people just have boring dreams is because they're, they're not feeding their brain with the right inspiration, the right stuff. And it's for a few reasons. Usually, you know, maybe you don't like fantasy films or you don't like sci-fi. But the chances are that if you want to have a, a lucid dream about exploring an alien planet, then you probably would like sci-fi because that's what it's about. So usually it's kind of a no-brainer. If you're not having interesting dreams, watch more interesting films. And not just films as well, by the way. I'm talking about books, I'm talking about on social media, look at interesting things, inspiring, surreal pictures, unusual images, just watch more interesting stuff. The more interesting stuff you watch, the more interesting dreams you're going to have. That's the first part of it. Now the second part of it is you can influence how vivid your dreams are by a few things. By the supplements you take, and by how often you write your dreams down, and by how often you do reality checks. Now, reality checks, I've mentioned many times before in other videos, 
just do them okay just constantly ask yourself am i dreaming and do the you can do different tests you can try and pinch your nose and breathe through your nose you can try and push your finger through your palm there are many different types of reality check it doesn't really matter which one you do just do one of them but next you need to make sure that you give your brain and body all it needs to have vivid dreams and to remember those dreams because most people don't remember them now i'm specifically talking here about taking a multivitamin that includes vitamin b6 now vitamin b6 is very important because it helps you improve your recall it literally improves your memory so take a multivitamin including vitamin b6 a good a good uh, multivitamin to take is performance lab this is a really powerful multivitamin it's what i take every day you can find the link in the description but basically it, it contains more than the recommended daily allowance for several nutrients and vitamins so it's just going to give you a full dose of everything you need including vitamin b6 which is really good for dream memory so i'd recommend taking that or just you know if you don't want to get that one any vitamin multivitamin will have vitamin b6 in it but for dream recall you probably want to you know you probably want a bit of a bigger dose than just the normal vitamin b6 dose because the more you take up to a point okay the more you take up to a point the more you will remember of your dreams so that's worth bearing in mind as well but i do want to make a disclosure here just bear in mind any supplement you take any lucid dreaming supplement it's going to have pros and cons and this is why it's very important to do your own research because it might interact badly with something that you're already taking it might not have an effect on you or it might need such a high dosage that it becomes expensive or even annoying to take so make sure you do your own research um, but in a nutshell vitamin b6 is highly highly researched very very safe pretty much no side effects um, as far as i'm aware um, but again it's not a medical recommendation just do your own research uh, but like I said, the multivitamin, including vitamin B6, is in the description. It's called Performance Lab Pro, and it's really good. Okay, I have to say it's really good. And lastly, I did mention to write your dreams down. Why would you write your dreams down? Because if you write your dreams down, you're tell firstly, you're telling your brain that you want to remember dreams, so your subconscious mind will serve that up to you, because your subconscious mind basically gives you what you focus on. If you focus on one thing, one intention, you're going to get more of that what you focus on you create more of um, which by the way applies to more things than just lucid dreaming it applies to everything what you focus on you'll get more of but secondly it actually gets you into the habit of trying to remember your dreams and actually trying to use your dream memory in the first place um, which is massively important you know for obvious reasons if you don't practice trying to remember your dreams then you're not going to be able to remember them and that's going to be sad because you're missing out on all these incredible dream memories. You don't want that. Now, if you've watched this far, uh, or if you've listened this far, if you're on the podcast, you've probably heard or watched more than most people. So I'd love to hear what you think. Most people switch off after 20 seconds and they watch a, a video of some crazy person petting a giant Asian hornet. That's what I watched the other day. It was insane. Why would anybody hold a hornet? It's insane. Anyway, I don't know what you're watching, but if you've watched this far, you firstly thank you you're helping my engagement rate and you're helping this video be seen by more people which is ultimately the best goal because the more people learn about lucid dreaming the better it becomes for everyone more ideas more experiments whatever um but secondly i'd love to hear what you think so please leave a comment below letting me know what you think about this let me know your most boring dream that you've ever had there'll be an award i haven't decided what the award will be yet maybe it'll be this dead camera battery for the most boring dream that you can come up with. So I'd love to hear the most boring dream. I really would. Maybe I'll make an article compiling the most boring dreams of 2019. Maybe I'll make that. Okay. Let me know and uh, I'll see you in the next video.